Okay, we're filming. All good? Yeah. Hello and welcome to the Uncut Angling Ice Safety Video. I'm Aaron Weeb. As you can see here, there is a sign clearly indicating that there is some dangerous ice in the vicinity. And despite that... Aaron, come on by, dude. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Let's go. My friend's telling me that it's fine. Brett's a pretty sneaky kid. I probably shouldn't trust him. But as experienced ice anglers, that experience itself often leads to overconfidence and mistakes. So I'm going to try it. I'm going to trust Brett just this once. He's been a long time. Ah, 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 Brett, you got stop it, son of a bitch. It's fine. Relax. Thanks for that valuable reminder, Brett. You know, the most important thing that you can know about ice safety is a mindset more than any ice safety equipment that you can carry with you. And then the number one thing you need to do is stay calm. When you fall through, you stick your arms out to catch yourself. I'm not going anywhere, even if I can't swim. I didn't just fall into a bonfire. There's not an immediate need to get out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save the limited energy that I have for getting out of the ice momentarily. What are you fishing for here anyways? Pickerel? Hey, quit horsing around. Again, first thing is just to be calm. I've got my arms out here holding me. The scary part about falling in the ice, everybody's worried about that big scary word that starts with the letter H, hypothermia. And the reality of it is, is that whether you're falling through in the fall, the spring, the summer, you're worried about drowning. I'm not worried about hypothermia. That sets in in 10 to 15 minutes. I need to get myself out long before then when I lose my strength. So there's two ways I'm gonna drown. I'm gonna panic. Ooh, that was not nice. I'm gonna panic. I'm gonna take water in. And I'm gonna drown immediately. The other way I could drown is if I stay in here too long to the 10 to 15 minute mark when hypothermia would just be starting and then I lose my strength. I can't hold myself up anymore. And then you're gonna slip away and you're gonna breathe in the water and drown anyways. And even if you're wearing flotation, your head's still gonna slump in with a life jacket on. So we need to stay calm here, gain my composure, and now it's time to start thinking about getting out. You've got your gain, Max. What are you doing with the gain all up in here? Drop that down. Oh, there, he's on you, he's on you. Pull up, pull up. Oh. You missed? Oh, idiot. Wow. That escalated quickly. As you can see, accidents like this can happen rapidly and unexpectedly. And while people are terrified of this moment, you need to be prepared. So let's say I've been in the water now for one, two, maybe five minutes. I've gained my composure. It's time to get out. So if I came in on a snowmobile or a truck, it would be a lot worse. But since I've come in on foot, I know the ice is safe in this direction. I'm gonna plan my escape in this direction because I might only have the strength for one or two attempts, so I need to make sure that they're calculated attempts. I'm wearing my ice picks, which are the number one thing that you can wear for safety equipment, but beyond even a life jacket, believe it or not, because these will help me claw out. Should the ice be very smooth, they will help me to pull myself out, or if I've lost all my strength, they will also help me pull out I don't think I'm gonna need them. I'm gonna try without them. I'm going to flatten my body out. So I'm not lifting myself out. You can see I've got my body plain. My feet are there behind me. And I'm just gonna try and get my, my weight up on this ice edge just a little bit. And then, here Mark, maybe you can hold this microphone for me. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna basically swim out and pull myself forward here 
get my body nice and flat so I'm not lifting my weight. All I'm doing is dragging myself forward. Now at this point, you saw that was very easy. I'm halfway out. The battle's halfway done. I'm just gonna keep clawing forward. Now you can see I'm basically out of the water and the biggest mistake I can make at this point would be elevating myself and putting all my weight on my feet because I'm likely to fall through again. So I'm going to crawl away as long as I need to to be perceivably far enough from the danger. Let's pretend I crawled a long ways. Now I'm going to stand up. Whew. And I need to get myself out of these clothes and indoors in a heated shack or build a fire if that's not an option as soon as possible. Oh, oh slab on baby, here we go. Woo! I got a nice big crappie here. Look at that. Woo doggy, that's what it's all about. That's why we come out here. Great looking fish, I'm just gonna drop him in. One hand is guy back in the... Oh! oh my goodness. Okay, <laughs> successful release, but now we have encountered the worst case scenario. We've crowded together too close on bad ice and we've got two people in the water. How you doing? Okay. Just gonna get out real quick here, Kane. Okay, let's pretend I've come across Jay and the number one thing I can do for him is just talk him through this. Okay, Jay, I'm here to tell you to stay calm. Now Jay knows to stay calm. Beyond that, Jay, I'm gonna go get some stuff Oh, I've got a rope right here. A great tool at first ice, a big long rope. I could throw this to Jay if I wanted to. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pass him my ice picks. I'm gonna come to him here, laying flat to spread out my weight. So here, I'm gonna pass Jay my ice picks. And Jay's gonna work on that. Keeping his body flat. Awesome. Now Jay's out. If I would've just ran up and been like, my boy Jay is in the water, I need to help him. I would run up like this, see, right to the edge here, and then this ice that's thin on the edge is likely to break. Not good. Being in the water doesn't help him. As it was, I was able to help him. Jay and I are going to get warm right now. Yeah, buddy. Mother, this is just getting ridiculous, Jay. Oh. Falling through the ice can happen at any time, so you need to be prepared with the proper mindset. You guys need to subscribe to Uncut Angling. Click this button right up here and you'll be locked into all our new videos. He's actually cold! Or click Woo. any of these links. Check out all our videos. Thanks for watching. Good enough? Very good. Jay, you okay? Oh, it's cold. <laughs> Water my bum crap or something else. <laughs> oh. oh, my balls. Oh. That was way too much horsing around. <laughs> I've got angling! Subscribe! Click all these videos to watch everything we got coming to ya. Ugh.